Uh, hello everyone. So our project is a portable braille read reader, and the motivation behind this project was to create something that is small, easy to use, and also not as costly as what you currently have in the market. So the way it works is a user can send any text over his uh, using his cell phone uh, or the Bluetooth, and we have a Bluetooth module uh, on the device side which talks to the microcontroller uh, using UART channel, and on the device. Uh, we have six uh, standard braille dots uh, which are placed uh, sufficiently close enough to give uh, enough uh, pressure uh, resolution for, for on the thumb and we have this uh, multi state start stop uh, restart button we also have second go back button so if uh, during the course of reading if user, uh, user uh, misses certain characters or certain words then he can press this button and go back in the text uh, we also have this knob to adjust the reading speed and uh, we also have a debugger so we have a particular terminal setup to uh, basically show the characters on the uh, terminal uh, using second UART channel and th this is this is for debugging and it wouldn't be used by the, by yeah, the user just by, yeah. just for okay. the as you can see we've already loaded uh, a text file onto it uh, by so sending it from the app Okay, so so yeah. so start it up again here, so we can so look at it go. Start button, and it's going to actuate various solenoids. So basically, I can uh, place my thumb here, and or two fingers if you, if you want. You can yeah. actually just read it with two fingers, and see how the various. You can actually feel these, and you, you can rest your whole hand on the surface without forcing the actuators back. So there's a clean detection of braille dots going on. Yeah, so it's got it's got good power against yeah. Power too. yeah. Looks good in the video so too. So I'll now pause for a moment. Okay. So we we have a modified first line of, line of the text to uh, explain certain scenarios. In Braille itself, you can see that there's an I before this letter number seven. The way Braille works is that uh, before any special characters or numbers or capitalization, there are special identifiers that are created uh, in Braille itself, and then put before any transitions to numbers or to from from numbers to lowercase alphabet. And so we encoded that into our actual um, Braille debugger so that you can see that when it's actually actuated on the the solenoids themselves. Uh, so basically, when, whenever there is like uppercase character or whenever there is a digit, or transition from digit to a uh, mm -hmm. lowercase character, or a certain special characters like at the rate, uh, you will have unique uh, identifier characters. Okay. So on the terminal, we show it as I, but on the device, they are encoded. OK, so you want to pop the box open now, show us what's sure. inside. So here, I'm just going to turn, turn the power the off. off. Yes. But the microcontroller is still on. OK. And so here, we essentially have a wire setup that is fun so we have it's battery powered uh, mm -hmm. 12 AA batteries powering the entire system uh, here we have three li li linear voltage regulators that are stepping down the 9 volts down to 5 volts to power the Bluetooth module and the microcontroller as well as two linear regulators to power the uh, two sets of uh, solenoids essentially so there's the six the bottom of the six solenoids yes and okay. so the two protoboards that you see here that are labeled D through, e, D through F and A through C on the left, uh, they are tied to uh, one set of solenoids here, respectively. I see. So those are the drivers. Those are the drivers, yeah. essentially. Okay. Yep. And the control lines are coming just directly tied to the digital output pins of the microcontroller itself. So there's a PIC32 buried under there somewhere. <laughs> yes. Yep. That yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll uh, also explain the go back end. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we... Show the debugger again. Uh, and close this box up. I'll like start the again. And suppose uh, if uh, I want to go back in the text, so I'll just wait for the line to roll, roll over. Or I can press back. Uh huh, I see. And Very so nice. Or uh, I can also like first pause and. Oh wait, yeah. yeah. And then um, can uh, reduce my reading speed and again start. And so now the reading speed is drastically reduced. So the, so the controls work yeah. in any combination as you yeah. would expect, right? Yeah. So this mode can be, uh, basically be used to basically teach how to read Braille in very low speed. Yeah, for children that are just being Learning, introduced to Braille. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It decreases the speed, and actually, even for people who are not blind, if they want to learn it, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the minimum speed we have right now is 30 characters per minute, and max is around 240 characters per minute. Mm -hmm. And we can store around like 2,000 words right now. On the internal memory, memory. of the CPU. Yeah. So, yeah. And you could do much more than that if you wanted to go to external yes, memory, right? Yeah, that right. SD card and improve the. Uh, and, the and load, right, right. Yeah. And if you have a dedicated app, then it gives like better control over the text. Mm -hmm. And in future, we might want to use better actuators. To reduce Smaller, the perhaps more, more. Yeah. So yeah. The idea we have so. is to use piezoelectrics to yeah. uh, mm -hmm. vibrate the dermal layer of your thumb, mm -hmm. and that way you can essentially uh, feel high. You don't feel high frequency, but you feel low frequency actuation uh, on your thumb that way. Okay. Which also significantly reduce power consumption. And of course. Right, right. right now, the lifetime is about. 20 minutes. Uh, haven't tested it fully to draining the batteries, but uh, estimated 20 minutes based on power calculations. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you.